So, so I'm really honored by the crowd, and we're going to have some fun now, because instead of making a speech, which I've been doing over and over and over, I want to take questions. Don't we like that, right? Okay. All right, let's start with this group right over here. Come on. Okay, this man, I like this guy. I walk on White Plains. Amen. Okay. We have a problem in this country. It's called Muslims. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. We need this first question. This is the man. First question. But anyway, <laughs> we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. I was appalled. And uh, as you may know, um, you know, quickly put out a tweet expressing the, uh, the great uh, disappointment uh, with that kind of rhetoric uh, and calling on him and anybody else who is seeking the highest office of the land to start behaving like a president, uh, to show respect, and to stand up for the truth. He knew, or he should have known, that what that man was asking was not only way out of bounds, it was untrue. And he should have, from the beginning, repudiated that kind of rhetoric, that level of hatefulness in a questioner in an audience that he was uh, appearing before. Um, so I would... Uh, you know, call on him and call on all of the candidates to stop this descent into uh, the kind of hateful, mean-spirited, divisive rhetoric that we have seen too much of in the last months. And how would you have responded? Well, I don't think that person would come to my event, but if that person had been in my event, I would have called him out on it. And I would have said from the very beginning, that has no place in a political discussion like the one we're trying to have here. And not only is it out of place and wrong, it is totally factually untrue. And to quit, quit impugning the integrity of the president. Do you think it's racist? Do I think it's, I, I think it's prejudiced. I think it's discriminatory. I think it comes out of the same unfortunate, uh, uh, reservoir of uh, uh, hateful rhetoric that we've seen too much of where people are being you know set against one another and that has no place in our politics we have serious issues we have to deal with uh, in the years ahead we should be trying to bring the country together around solutions not trying to divide up people and set them against each other oh my god how controversial is that oh my lord he didn't come to Barack Obama's defense. He decided to address a different aspect of the question. You don't do that. The Praetorian Guard media in this country won't put up with it. Barack Obama can call you a racist. Barack Obama can say you have racism in your DNA. Barack Obama can trash Christians. Barack Obama doesn't have to say Islamic terrorism. I can't say Islamic. But by God, if anybody criticizes Barack Obama... That's unacceptable. You're not allowed to stand silently. You must come to his defense. Like Chris Christie. Like John McCain. Like Lindsey Graham. All losers. You must come to Barack Obama's defense. We cannot have our great imperial president criticized this way. It's not acceptable. You can say any damn thing you want about any conservative. Anything. Everybody must affirm that he is an upstanding, wonderful, moral, faithful husband. We don't do this for any other politician. No other politician. Certainly not conservatives. But Barack Obama, oh my God. That goofball in the audience said that. Donald Trump should have been to his defense immediately. And then, Hillary Rotten Clinton she says, I, now, now i got to talk to the press. No server questions, no email questions, no uh, my husband rape questions, uh, no, no questions about how I defended my husband rape questions. No, 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 no. Now we've got an issue. Trump didn't defend Obama. Well, lest we forget, it was Hillary Rotten Clinton in 2008 running against Barack Obama who raised this whole Muslim and birther issue. Oh, it's true. And the media know it. 
And there she was at her phony press conference, and the media was quiet. <gasps> oh, don't say. The media didn't say a word. Clinton aides, this is from The Guardian, February 25, 2008. Clinton aides claim Obama photo wasn't intended as a smear. Barack Obama's campaign team today accused Hillary Clinton's beleaguered staff of mounting a desperate dirty tricks operation by circulating a picture of him in African dress, feeding into false claims on U.S. website that he's a Muslim. Wow, Hillary, you got to start acting like a president. Aides for Mrs. Clinton, who's fighting a last-ditch battle to keep her hopes of the White House alive, initially tried to brush off the, the Fuhrer, but later denied having anything to do with the distribution of the photo. I just want to make it very clear. We were not aware of it. The campaign didn't sanction it. Don't know anything about it, Clinton spoke idiot Howard Wolfson told reporters. None of us have seen the email in question. The picture showing Obama in a turban during a visit to Kenya in 2006 first appeared on the Drudge Report website today. So, a couple of points here. This hypocrite, Hillary Clinton runs to the microphone, runs away from the microphone normally, runs to the microphone, stands up there, positions herself, (laughs) postures herself. Well, I was appalled. As you may know, quickly, I put out a tweet. Wow, I 